I just wanted to focus on the 10 most common warning signs. So it is memory loss that affects day-to-day -day function. And I think oftentimes that we hear, you know, Alzheimer's disease is just memory loss. Oh, I'm just having memory problems, so that must mean I just have Alzheimer's disease. But it's really so much more. Alzheimer's really affects our whole functioning ability. Um, but typically early on, especially, it is for short-term memory problems. Um, but that does progress uh, to longer-term memories as well. We may also see some difficulty performing familiar tasks. So things like, you know, using a recipe, um, perhaps it's something that you've been able to do, it's your sort of family favorite, you don't need to follow the recipe anymore, but now you're starting to notice that things just don't taste quite right because maybe we didn't follow the right order of things. So things um, that are very familiar to that individual, you might see that they are having more difficulties performing those tasks. Early on as well, we can see that the person may have some difficulties with language. So we all have sort of that, um, those moments where we can't find our right word um, or we don't use it the right way. However, for people with an early sign of Alzheimer's disease, we're going to see that happening more frequently. Those words really are lost um, or they're substituting words that maybe sound the same but don't necessarily have the same meaning. So car, cat, they sound similar, um, but obviously if you're using them in a sentence, then they're not going to have the same understanding. So problems with language can be really um, early signs of dementia, and it's really, really frustrating for the person with the disease as well, that they're sort of losing their thoughts mid-sentence and not able to get back to them, needing a little bit more time to be able to respond. As well, we might see some difficulties with disorientation to time and place. So that could be in a very familiar setting. I mean, someone that has early onset Alzheimer's disease that came into this setting at the plowing match would be probably pretty overwhelmed if they weren't able to find their loved one or um, got, you know, sort of separated from them because it's pretty unfamiliar for most of us. Um, however, we may see someone, you know, even just getting lost on their own street because all of a sudden those familiar landmarks become unfamiliar. They're not able to remember those landmarks. We also might see poor or decreased judgment. So perhaps making inappropriate decisions with regards to some business activities that they might be involved in. We might also just see, um, I think of one gentleman that decided he needed a new truck. So off he went and purchased a brand new truck and signed on the dotted line and brought his new truck home and his wife was beside herself because how were they going to get out of this contract? He had already lost his license because he had frontal temporal dementia. So you can think of those things that are those really poor decision-making abilities um, that tend to increase as the person progresses through dementia. As well, um, the sixth most common warning sign is problems with abstract thinking. So for example, looking at a checkbook, not necessarily knowing how to balance it, but also not even really sure what those numbers mean. So it becomes much more abstract um, and much more difficult for the person to manage. We may also see misplacing things. So quite often people in the early signs tell us that I just am spending a lot of my time looking for things all of the time. So putting things in you know, safe places, never to be found again, um, or you know, lettuce in the fridge, or sorry, lettuce in the freezer, or bags in um, the fridge, you know, just really odd things that are happening. So they spend a lot of time looking for things. And again, that can be very frustrating for the person. We might also see that there's some changes in mood and behavior. So again, they may have been very easygoing most of their life, and, um, and now things are really setting them off. Um, they're getting quite upset or really angry, and those changes can happen pretty quickly. And again, it's something that's different. It's not a normal behavior for that person, but more of a, a significant change. And some of that change in personality as well. You know, again, maybe they've been really an energetic person and you're finding that they tend to withdraw a bit more from activities or, you know, instead of being involved in a committee that's preparing for this event, which is something they would have loved to do in the past, they're now saying, yeah, no, I'm not really interested in doing that. So you see those changes that are happening in that individual. And oftentimes a loss of initiative as well. So quite often we'll see people that do withdraw um, they tend just not to be as engaged as they used to be. 
Um, they need some more difficulty sort of getting up and getting that idea and getting going. So some of that loss of initiative can be a real challenge for people. So hopefully this kind of just gives you a real idea that it's not just memory loss when people are experiencing this disease, but there's many other things that are being affected as well. If you or someone you know could benefit from the services at the Alzheimer's Society, or if you'd like to get involved and become a volunteer, please visit your local Alzheimer's Society.